We're en route to Kingston to do an investigation tonight. Go home. Pretty classic fair, really. I think they have an issue. They've got their dogs are reacting funny to things, and they've got uh, plates breaking and things in the kitchen going missing. I think we've heard this a lot of people before. You'll have to excuse this merriment going on in the car as I'm speaking. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I have a team that doesn't care. Um, our uh, ghost mobile has shrunken in size from the mighty van to the mighty G5. We're a little more compact now. Um, but uh, yeah, so it should be an excellent case tonight. Tyler's meeting us from Ottawa down there. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're probably going to have Tyler do some lead work tonight. I think I'm going to plant my backside on the DVR for a while. Should be an amazing time. Looks like winter isn't killing us too highly today. The weather's fairly decent, about zero or 33 for the Americans. Uh, yeah, so I'll give you the results later. Oh, you must be Canadian. <laughs> we have a bottle opener in our pocket. Everybody has a bottle opener in their pocket in Canada. Some of us are more brutal. We just use our teeth. It's a beer bottle opener. All right, so we're at an investigation here in Kingston. We've got a phenomenal investigation going on. We have claims of stuff being knocked off the counter. We have claims of footsteps and noises. We also have a flash of light seen in the basement. This is a great investigation. Here we've got a great team going on. And pretty much, along with the dogs, helping us out here. This is gonna be fantastic. So I'm ready, I'm excited, I know you're excited, so let's get this one started. have a parrot in this room so all right so we might need to <laughs> tag whatever the bird talks emf is flat temperature is 18.6 thank you Open. yeah squish it in there that's okay So we're in the basement now, uh, this probably being like a common area. We've actually seen a flash of light, things like that around here. So hey, let's do something absolutely fantastic. Let's get that flash of light going right in front of us. You know what? That's why I went over there with this, because I saw like a little ball of light by your head. Right here? Yeah. Like in behind. That's why I went over with with this thing. That's so weird. Well, that's fantastic. I'd really like to see that myself. Maybe you could... I thought it was just my eyes. Give a big flash. Something impressive. That's okay. We can try a little bit later. Not can I ask Dave if he was talking about more where you are or more there? Sure. There is a mirror there, so hmm. maybe if some sort of light came from outside and hit the mirror, it might have made a flash in here. Excellent idea. Dave? So ask him if it's more where you are or more where I am. The flash of light, it, was it more where I'm standing or more where Sandy's standing? Oh, it was uh, more right and did you catch it on both DVRs or just the one from the ba lower basement? Well, it was uh, 
stand for. We're also going to do a test of headlights from outside, see if we can recreate the light. Okay, let me know what I need to do that then. I'll go up and pull it in or something. Alright, so we're not seeing anything at all coming through here. So although you guys couldn't see anything down here, on the DVR camera, when he was in the driveway, mm -hmm. and on the other side of the roundabout, there is a road that goes this way, which would point right into the driveway. When he's in the driveway, and as he's pulling out or into the driveway, you do see lights. Okay. So it is possible that if a car was coming down that road that's straight across, yeah. and then turn that way, that it would just be kind of like a quick flash. Gotcha. So when we do the review, we can just compare what the two look like. Okay. Perfect. Hence my little egg. There's nothing here. <laughs> okay. No animals or anything down here. Well, Mr. Suter, if that was you, that was fantastic. Uh, Sandy really likes being touched. <laughs> Punch her in the face, though. She wants that. Yeah. I love to be punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd all like to be pushed or touched or in some sort of way. I'm finding this place colder myself. Got a spike here. That was the noise from uh, my feet. I don't remember there being. This room was dead. How much of a spike? We're at a point five. Now we're at a two point six. So it might be from here. Okay. <clears throat> It doesn't look good. Look at there's like burnt right there. Yeah. Uh, Where? Oh, right yeah. here. And here. Yes, sir. Is it coming off there? Five point nine. Four. Ooh. Yep. Okay, so what's here that would do that? Well, <clears throat> probably the wire is wire. insulated. The wiring comes along here. Like the, the, the beams are burnt like that. <clears throat> What's your reading on it? 14, I got was the highest. Okay, well. I'm shrimpy so I can't really reach. Oh, 80. Do you want me to? Ooh, oh, 80. Yeah. Okay, so that... Yeah, that's not good. No. Uh, One to 14. It's just climbing and climbing. So there may have been uh, electrical issues. Okay, so we've got two different spots. Just let me find them again. So here, you can see where it's burnt. And right there. So there and there. Like that, that looks fire hazard. There's... All right, so the big stake, uh, you've got old category cable here, uh -huh. along with new 14 till. Uh, although the burns don't seem to be indicative of the wire, the burns seem to be, frankly, if you ask me, I think if you took a off of that, the insulation off of that, that might have been an old soldering burn, like okay. where where they were, uh, as you can tell by joints, they put joints right there. Yeah. Okay, and actually if you take a look at the fitting, it's it's, it's almost all gulty. It looks more like a solder burn to me. Although, yeah, that's 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 totally poor. Okay, but our EMF is off the charts yeah. in this area. Like well, right in this section, it's and take a look right here. totally out of whack. Uh, well, I don't know. Okay, well, I just, I'm I'm just wondering while we're here, that you might want to take a look at it. You do have a lot of copper pipe and a lot of, a lot of wires near each other. Would that create like a fear cage effect? I suppose it's plausible. A lot of the uh, copper pipe that's down here, as you can see, is a PEX. That's plastic right there. But the daughter also said that like they go through light bulbs in this room like crazy. And a shark. Well, well, the thing is, what gets me is at the junction point right now, you've got new wiring and old wiring going into a junction. So what they've done is they've, they've put uh, they put like a new a new uh, maybe a new uh, fixture th fixture in here and hook the power itself up to the house through old wiring. Yeah. I must be a little more sensitive to heat left, I thought. You're good? Not doing too well. You're not feeling well? No. Really? Yeah. Never.
must be hard living in a house where other people are living in it too. I don't own a house myself yet, but I know that when I do, that'll be my home. And I don't want anyone else in it. Are you somebody that lived or worked on the Smith farm? All of these houses were built on, built on an old farm. Maybe you'd like to show us that you're here in another way. Or maybe you can touch our friend Shannon here. Sure. She's feeling a little left out. Nobody wants to play with me. Can you come close to me? Touch me on the shoulder or on the leg? Mm. Alright, so here we are down here um, in the basement. <laughs> Wondering if you could bring something to us. It's just the two of us here down here. And everybody else is upstairs, dogs upstairs, everything's the whole zoo's there. better question. What does the fox say? <laughs> See, I don't know about you, but I feel pretty comfortable in this house, frankly. There's yeah. a lot of animals here, and family it's seems homey. okay. It's homey. You know, I don't really get the sensation of something trying to cause anything. I mean, I do get the lightheadedness down here. I do get... I think it's got to do with the EMF. I really yeah. do think it's got to do with old wiring, new wiring. Um, the simple fact that the lights that blow out and that down here, I mean, it's not necessarily a good sign. I'd like, I'd like the family to have a look at that. Mm -hmm. So am I to be left? Hear like what sound like footsteps behind us? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> okay. okay. All right. So I heard what I thought were footsteps over there coming over here. Now this might be indicative of, this, of the flash that the girl saw in front of her face. And if that's the case, this is a room completely full of things you could knock over. Including us. Including us. Yeah, man. Like I'm standing here right now. I'm already feeling kind of lightheaded. So what I really appreciate it is if you could do something with that. We've had a fantastic investigation here. We have a lot to go over, a lot of work ahead of us. So we hope you enjoyed this one. Catch you on the next one. The people Just at home want to see it. The people at the, home do not want to see it. The people at home really, really the people want to have a good close-up look at this. No, they really don't. Before the night is over, my friends at home, we're going to give you the goods. Sydney's dramatic entrance. Slights seven. You want cold water? Is there anybody here that would like to? Is there anybody here that'd like to say something to us? Denver. Denver. Laughing. Tangle room laughing at us. Okay. Oh my god. Was this bedroom anybody's bedroom? <laughs> night shot on the camera camera? Camera camera? Is there a night shot on the camera camera? Did you just ask if there's a night shot on the camera camera? Where is the night shot on the camera camera? <laughs> or night vision or night something picture? Camera. <laughs> Help. <laughs> Sydney. Shannon. Do you mean to say, is there a flash? That's what I was looking for. <laughs> you can tell I only ever do that. Ever. <laughs> okay, so here we go, Sydney. Come, <laughs> no. get in here. No. We got to investigate. Did you talk about that big bird in his ass? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. I was trying to be professional about it. Don't um, worry about it. I'm not. I mean, I'm it's... a 20-year-old with riffs and a daughter. Don't worry about it. Let's face it, it's not so worth nothing to be done about it. Uh. Turn around. So. No.
No. <laughs> it's a point five. It's, a point five. <laughs> it's yes. going up to a point. Eight. Yes, yes, because I got a very magnetic personality. No. <laughs> okay, we gotta film this. Oh, you did it wrong. <laughs> Tyler. Yes, I, you did it wrong. Fine. There, huh? <laughs> I ripped my pants. It's a quite large one. Who cares? <laughs>